Well, the, the contract has to go to tender. It has to go to tender because European law provides that it must go to tender. We trailed this in a debate in Parliament last June. It was very clear that this had to happen. It's not in the interest of the taxpayer that a contract like this should not go out to, uh, to tender, but there's a legal obligation anyway that it must go out to tender. So I think there'll be an open and fair tendering process. The GGCA have been critical of the government, but it's the GGCA's members who will run the procurement process. It's a European process. There'll be an advertisement in the European Journal. There are set time, uh, piece, uh, time, time tables that have to be followed. Um, and so you know, I'm sure that the result of that will be in the best interest of Gibraltar, its taxpayer in terms of value for money, and the employees whose jobs are uh, under the transfer of undertaking legislation protected in any event. Uh, you can't predict w how the tender is going to pan out, but as I understand it, having spoken to the GGCA before coming here, uh, you, you met with them yesterday and you've proposed one scenario that they might want to take to their members, uh, reverse takeover, if, if that's the correct terminology, that the staff uh, try to organize and put in a bid themselves as the staff. As far as the government is concerned, we are not going to comment on what may come as a submission. We know that master services have indicated that they will be making a tender submission. The staff through the GGCA had asked us not to go to tender and to renationalize the service. We said that's not appropriate, uh, but they were saying to us, cut out the middleman. And my response was, look, uh, the middleman being master services, directors, etc. We can't do that. But if you want to file a tender as the workforce, it's a matter entirely for you. Whatever comes, whether it comes from master services, from the workforce, from both or either of them, from any other third parties, that has to be assessed by the independent tender board. Look, I've heard all sorts of rumors. Gibraltar is a place of ridiculous rumors. When you're in opposition, you hear them all. When you're in government, you hear them all as well, right? I've heard about this tender going to relatives of mine, to relatives of another minister, to friends of mine or friends of another minister. This is absolute and complete nonsense. This tender will be assessed absolutely fairly by the civil servants in the procurement office who will make their assessments, who will make recommendations, give ministers a discretion in A, B or C being the best option and that's how the tender will be decided. People please need to stop thinking that the, the latest rumor that they hear as they walk past the piazza or that somebody might put on Facebook is actually reality. I mean, I have great respect for journalism in Gibraltar and I don't say that anything that appears on your program or in any of our newspapers is fake news. But I must tell you that some of the stuff that all of us read on Facebook we just have to realize that there's absolutely no kernel of truth in it whatsoever. So can you give assurances to individuals employed at Master Services that their jobs are safe and for how long their jobs are safe? Look, I gave uh, yesterday the individuals who work in Master Services a very clear assurance that the government of Gibraltar looks out for two things. It looks out, first of all, for value for money for the taxpayer and it looks to protect workers because we are a socialist labour uh, party in government with a liberal uh, partner. And a lot of the guys in master services are the guys who vote for my party and put me in government. In, in December 2011, I became Chief Minister of Gibraltar in very large measure because people who work in master services decided to deposit their trust and the trust of their families in my government delivering a better Gibraltar for them. I'm not going to let them down.